Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Today I'm making mala grilled fish. It's numbing, it's spicy, and it's a bunch of different ingredients in there for an adventure of texture. So traditionally during Chinese New Year, fish is always a must-have during the reunion. It represents every year you have abundance and prosperity and luck and blessings and all that you could wish for, right? So, but it's always sort of steamed fish or fried fish, well at least those that I've had when I've attended reunion dinners. So today I've got some friends coming over and I wanted to take this whole fish dish up a notch by making something that's super spicy and something that I love, right? So we're making the mala Chinese style grilled fish. Now, first of all, what we're gonna do, I have my fish here. There we go. This is a beautiful snapper that have been butterfly. Yeah, you can get your fishmonger to get this done. So the fish is done, important, really, really fresh fish. Okay, now, so here I have a bunch of spring onion and we're going to be using the green parts of the spring onion and this will be placed underneath the fish. All right, next up we have some ginger. Place the ginger all around. Now, this beautiful fish goes right on top. So aside from sort of protecting the fish from burning, it's also going to impart a lot, a lot of flavor onto the fish as it cooks. Now, chili oil, seasoned salt. Just massage that oil so the fish roasts evenly. So this, the fish goes into the oven at 240 degrees broil function for about 12 minutes. Okay, so while the fish is in there, now we're going to prepare the gravy. Ginger. Some oil in. White parts of the spring onion. We have some green chilies. Green chilies in. Here I have some hydrated dried chilies. Now, I have some fermented bean paste. This is a pre made malat base. Water in. Salt. A little bit of chicken seasoning. Now we'll bring this up to a boil. Here I have some wood ear fungus. With the wood ear fungus, you always want to remove what they call the eye, which is the center heart bit. Wood ear fungus in. Here I have some lotus root. Not too thin, not too thick. In. Yellow onion. Nice, thick slices. In. Just nice, fish is done. Beautiful. This is a medium, not too soft, not too hard. Tofu, in. Just stir around. This is definitely gonna kick someone in the butt. All right, move this over. Now, fish tray. There we go, nice. Now, we're going to start placing this onto the tray. Now, bean sprouts on. Don't block my fish. <laughs> Beautiful, now, this is done. I have some additional chili oil, as though this thing is not spicy enough. Here I have some fried ground nuts. Everywhere around, beautiful. And last but not least, some really nice, fresh, crisp coriander. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is done. Chinese style mala grilled fish.
super spicy, but it's so, so tasty. It's one of those things that it's torturous, but at the same time, it's delicious. So you keep going back for more. If BDSM were, if food had a BDSM sort of dish, I think this would be it. It's like you're tortured, but at the same time, you want more of it. Oh my goodness. Mm. You good? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this content, please do click the like and subscribe button. I wish you all a happy Chinese New Year and uh, have a great year ahead. Take care. Ciao.